It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Voyagers and the Huskies, and it comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. But tonight, we've got a preseason matchup, as it'll be the Voyagers of Paris taking on the Huskies of Anchorage. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis, happy to be back alongside you. And I'll tell you what, yes, it's just week two of the preseason, but now they've got one game under their belts and a lot of guys trying to prove some stuff down on the field here today. Not only that, these coaches like to win. And I used to think it really didn't matter who won in the preseason. Then I watched some of those shows that the NFL does, and you see the coaches in preseason. Kicker Brandon Aubrey is out to get this one started. And off we go here in Anchorage. Taken at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 25, here's second and four. Sticking with Walker on second down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Throwing on third down, Smith. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about, and you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Fielded just inside the 30. An eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by the eighth-year passer, two-time Pro Bowler from Mississippi State, Dak Prescott. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Here's Pollard again. Down right around the 25. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. Now second and nine. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They need two. Here's third down. Three 
throwing. Prescott working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Here's Prescott. That's dumped off to Poe. It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. And again, it's Prescott. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Prescott. is going to be incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. And his kick is indeed good. And that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three. Maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Shh. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they'll get to him right away at the 40. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Damone Clark fought his way through and buried him behind the line. But they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards, and the guy who has the legs to escape most of these. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Here's Smith. He hits his target, lock it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 27 yards there, a first down. Trying the left side with Walker. He'll get this down to the 38. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now Smith. This is Fant on the short completion. He's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll try for the first with Walker. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Ah, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. 
Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Got a man and he hits him in stride. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Throwing now is Geno. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. A nightmare on third and goal. He sacked and multiple players broke through the line to get him. Myers' kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A second down throw for Prescott. Man open downfield is Gallup. He's got it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 29 yards. First down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A first down throw for Prescott. And Cooks hands it over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Tight one after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Gonna run again here with Pollard. Oh, able to avoid him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 46 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what... Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone, and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Here's Walker to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's a second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv. 
and you run into a tough call. It's a big play there. 48 yards. I think we already know that this guy's going to be ready when they ring the bell for week one. That play, almost routine for him, but still, nice to know that he's still got it. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off of play action, here's Smith. And he's taken in by the tight end Finn. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Walker. Will take it in. Touchdown. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done when they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone? And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Prescott now from the 50. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it though. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Second down and eight. Prescott to throw it. And it's incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll take the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer. He just dropped the pass. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 13 yards on his first catch. It's a first down as well. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Prescott on first down. Incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. To the air again, Prescott. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. 
Off the play fake. Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looking to throw. Prescott. shot a seven yard touchdown grab and the Voyagers are an extra point away from evening this one up as a general rule quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped but in this case based on the matchup he thought he was going to get it was favorable for his tight end he locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And we are even at 10 apiece. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, pretty solid return. He only got it to the 35. We'll mark him down officially at the 34. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Here's Smith. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Walker now on first and ten. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. From the 48-yard line, here's a second and seven. Sticking with Walker on second down. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 40 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Now a first down throw, it's Smith to the right side. And the ball is knocked down, and this is picked up by the defense. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. No coach or team's ever happy when someone has a turnover, but if there's ever a good time to do it, preseason. Yeah, right <laughs> now. You know that in come regular season, he's going to be ready to go, and maybe he'll remember, yeah, I don't want to do this when it comes time for the games to count. Well, Paris offense out to have another go at it. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Smith now to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now to the ground, here's Walker. Powerful running. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. 
Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Now Gino. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Gino now to throw. And able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. Here's Walker. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Ken Walker ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. And his guys are going to take the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way you can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Now Myers for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Prescott off play action. To Lamb, he pulls it in. What a catch. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. First down, Prescott. On the left side, Gallup's got it. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining. And oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. After the interception, here's Smith. He completes this to Walker. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. They'll look to set up his blockers. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. One more go for this offense in the first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And got his man complete! Touchdown! Brandon Cooks! as the first half is winding down. And the Voyagers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Aubrey now for the point after. And he gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. 
Those are the kind of drives they like on offense, from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman. We thought this one would be a close battle coming report. in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in just a minute. Week two of the preseason is upon us. Each team now with just one more game after this one, and then we will get it all started as we normally do on the first Thursday after Labor Day. No Benogany from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Short completion, just four yards. And now one yard to go on third down. On the run, it's Dowdle. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Get his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Pushing his way through. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Okay, let's do our version of name dropping here. Let's show off a little knowledge, right? The A-gap, the gap between the center and the guard on either side, right? Both sides. Control that. You're going to control an inside running game. And he had to feel satisfied because he hit that gap, broke the contact. He loves that. That's the best part, right? That's what he's going to ask the coach to run back on, on film. Let me see that one more time. Show that again, coach. Look how my legs kept churning. I just kept moving, and he did to the tune of a big game. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. From the 43, here's a second down and nine. To throw his rush. Pass complete to Jalen Tolbert. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards to pick up there. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Throwing here, Rush. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Play fake. Here's Rush. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. 
and his kick is right there. It's good, and with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. Now, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. And the all-pro Micah Parsons there on the tackle. Second and six, just inside the 30. Second and six. And Charbonnet once again. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. He'll get that to Charbonnet. Just a gain of a couple there, and it's second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. They look to throw. It's locked. Can't escape, and down he goes. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. They, I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset. They'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense. And right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. So a change of possession here on the punt. Here's the Paris offense ready to take possession. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They run here with Dowdle, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A running play, it's Dowdle. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Rush. 
Pass complete. He's got Hendershot. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play. First down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. First down now for Rush. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Here's Rush to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. When you run into slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown. Peyton Hendershot. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Voyagers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Taking it about the one. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On first and ten, here's Locke. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Wave going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. No escape for Locke and he'll go down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And take it right on the 30. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Mario Edwards from his end spot, able to push in there and drop him behind the line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now Rush. 
This throw left side is caught by Tolbert. So five yards here, five on the play. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Back to throw rush. And he'll be hit from behind and taken down. Daryl Taylor got in there to drop him. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Taken in at the 22. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. They'll begin here with a run with Charbonnet. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Again, it's Charbonnet. And some room to work. And that's going to be another good run on first down. This one goes for 14 as he is eating them up here to begin the drive. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Open man, there's Bobo. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. To throw it is lock. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. From the gun on third down, lock. And that one too wide and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Myers' kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Dave Benogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. To throw again, Rush. He's got to complete to Tolbert. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The offense on third down tonight, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and six. Operating from the gun, Rush. That's caught, Jalen Brooks. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. This is second and eight. They go play action with Rush. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. And we're near the one score game in the second half. Now's not the time to 
force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Rush working from the gun. Under pressure and down he goes. They bring a man off the corner that time and he gets home for a loss of six. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Well, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On first and ten, it's Charbonnet. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Here's Locke to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Rush to throw on first down. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. They'll see about converting this third and eight. To throw his rush. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Reek Woolen. And they will take over at the 26 yard line. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. After the turnover, here's Locke. He'll find Eskridge here complete. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And they'll run on third down with Charbonnet. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? 
Myers' kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Big Benogany elects not to return it. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. The Paris offense out to have another go at it. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage how would you say it? Consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Throwing here, Rush. He'll get this to his running back, Dowdle. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And he is going to have a first down here, and that should be the one that seals a victory. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression bet. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself. And that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. And he's caught. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Well, partner, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation, taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same. But if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end even better. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.